Yo, what's good, YouTube? Today I'll be showing you guys how to create this advanced text typography for your graphics and any animations using Adobe After Effects. Let's roll. <laughs> Let's start by creating a new composition by pressing this composition button up here. I will rename it render. Change your frame size to 1080 by 1080. And press OK. Create another composition. Rename it text. Change the width size to 2000 and the height to 1200. And press OK. Now create your text typography inside this composition. Your text could be anything for your posters, Instagram reels and so forth. The font I am using is Futura Black. I will try and make my typography to fill the whole screen. I will type out my channel name. Keep duplicating your text and create new text layers to fill up the screen. It's going to be a trial and error take your time with it. After you are done and happy with your poster, create a new composition and rename it Temp. Set the height size to 3840 and press OK. Now drag the text composition into the temp composition we have just created. On the effects panel search for motion tile and drag it onto the text layer. Set the out height to 300. Animate the tile center by dragging the Y value to the left a lot. Click the stopwatch button and move to the end of our work area and bring back the tile center value to its original number which is 1000. Our animation is working that's what we want. Go to the render composition and drag the temp comp inside of it like this. Press S to scale down text to fit the frame properly.
Now search for Mesh Warp on the effects panel and drag it on top of our text. Set the quality to 10. Set rows to 5 and lastly set the columns to 2 columns. Activate the rulers by pressing this button here. Drag these rulers around our mesh like this. Now zoom into the top left corner of our poster. Press the down the space button to activate the hand to move around the screen. Drag the corner to the left like this and pull this curve to the right. Do the same thing in the middle and on the right corner. Pull these rulers here as our guides for the bottom part. We are going to do the same thing we did at the bottom. Just follow what I do. After you are done with that you can remove the rulers. Move your mesh to the right. Duplicate it and rotate it 180 degrees. Move it to the left a bit and try to align them properly. Now our animation is looking really really good.
Go to the text composition and create a new solid. Make it black and rename it background. Drag it below all your texts. Now go back to render. Press this button here to activate the transparency grid. Zoom to the bottom here and align your posters correctly. Center both of them. Select the bottom text and press T for opacity and set it to 50. Create a new solid and name it background make it dark and drag it under your texts. Search for tint and drag it on the top text and change the whites to whatever color you want. Drag the tint to the bottom text and change the blacks to the same color you chose for the top text. Here's our animation. We're done here see you guys on the next one.